if you have one of these and you want to upgrade yours as well as I do, then stay tuned at Zachary 3D Prints. Zachary from Zachary 3D Prints. If you are new to this channel and you are not subscribed yet, please consider do so because my YouTube channel is about 3D printing, how to reviews and many other things that has to do with 3D printing. So I'm going to upgrade, like I mentioned in the intro, I'm going to upgrade this CTC Prusa i3 MK2 3D printer. I did a review early on this 3D printer, it's a great machine to start with but it's a cheaper brand and you also can make some upgrades like I showed you on my Creality M.3 Pro I did a few upgrades and it's printing perfectly fine it's getting better and better I'm working now currently on a project called A Big Secret no, I'm not going to tell any secrets anymore. I'm going to build the InMove robot. It's a new humanoid robot. It's going to be that big and I'm going to print some parts for that. But I'm not going to talk about the project that is running here. I'm going to talk about the project that is laying in front of me. So it's going to be a little upgrade but the print results are going to be better. But because this printer has some more upgrades coming up, I cannot use it because there are some other errors in it. I did order some parts, but I have to wait on it till they get here. So that being said, let's get into this upgrade. So these parts are coming from Thingy first. Uh, when you are looking for it, you can find the, the, uh, the link in the description and these are very simple to 3D print. If you having uh, this kind of 3D printer and it's running fine, then you can 3D print these parts right off this one. I saw other videos, uh, other YouTubers doing the same thing. It's not that difficult. But these parts are coming from my Ender 3 Pro. The quality is much, much better. I have to mention that I printed these parts before I exchanged from the Micro Swiss all metal hot end. And now the prints are looking much, much better. So these are okay. And I'm going to install them on this CTC Prusa i3 MK2 3D printer. When we are going to install it, we are going to use some tools like a cutter tool, the pliers, like this one, um, also some Allen key, uh, Allen keys, and also maybe if it is needed, a screwdriver. So let's get first cutting the fibers. Let's fast forward then. So, I had to remove some supports from this side. And now we are going to take the smaller parts of the, these, these brackets and make sure that everything is set on this and I will assemble the part here. So 
that was it. It's not so difficult to change this part. It's looking better. It's also more sturdier. Uh, as you can see, there is enough room here for two linear bearings. I am going to uh, order some parts that I can put in here, but also on the back side, that's, uh, that is okay. But for the front, I need two more. Maybe I'll also go to order some other parts, like a different kind of hot end, a different kind of motor. But you will see that in other videos on Zachary 3D prints. The only thing that I need to do is just measure the distance between those two parts. If they are okay, then it's all right. And um, also adjust the end stop so that my bed is also going to be level. So that being said, that was it for today's video on Zachary 3D prints. More updates on this CTC Prusa i3 MK2 DIY 3D printer are coming up. I'm also going to make some adjustments or some modifications to the, uh, to the housing of this 3D printer. I am thinking about it to, to uh, make some metal uh, aluminium studs. So that this is going to be not out of uh, laser cut plywood, but out of aluminium. So that was it for today's video. If you are new to the channel, please consider subscribing to my channel. Also hit the like button for getting notifications on your email box or on the YouTube app. And if you enjoyed watching this video, please like this video. It will help me luck with my channel and I will see you next time. Stay tuned. See you next time. Bye bye.